sausages. Hey, I just got done setting up my new WC-115A um, with 30 amp spool gun. Uh, it's pretty simple to set up. comes with a 115 volt outlet and a big power cable which I connected to the positive ground and positive lead on my welder and then the gas solenoid uh, has a contactor in it and the gas gets hooked up there which I don't have hooked up because I just tested it out with some flux core wire and uh, the spool gun's heavy as hell with that wire in there but it welds pretty good uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, with the way it welds I'm excited to get some argon so I can get some aluminum stuff done, but I got it hooked to my welding power ACDC. Uh, I was welding that flux core wire on uh, DC electronegative in constant voltage mode, which means I have to keep it on high idle all the time. And that small dial is my uh, voltage adjustment, which I had at about six and a half, which I think was about 17 volts around there. I was welding some 3 16 inch plate and uh, the wire feed speed was at about one and a half. So it uh, worked pretty good. I only paid 500 bucks for it. You can't see in there. But I only paid $500 for it and uh, they're about a thousand. I want to get a um, piece of fabric to cover up these cables to keep from busting a hole in the gas line or anything. So, I'm pretty happy with it. If anyone has any questions, um, I, uh, I'm on the welding web and I asked uh, Dwayne B uh, a lot of questions because I needed a spool gun. I needed to be able to weld aluminum on the go. And uh, he really helped me out. He answered a lot of questions. I know these, uh, these things are extremely versatile. They can be hooked to pretty much any power source that you have so it uh, it's a sweet little rig I'm very happy with it so if anyone has any questions I wasn't I'm not gonna take any video of welding cuz my camera sucks but uh, thanks for watching